this one here. A tall man who's sitting straight in, straight in his seat is completely blocking John's view at the cinema. John is 10 meters from the 4 meter high screen. The man is 1 meter in front of John. How far would the man need, need to lower his head and shoulders with Sean be able to see the screen directly? So, see all of the screen. So John needs to be able to see the top of the screen up here and he needs to be able to see the bottom of the screen which is th what the man is obviously blocking out okay so what we do here is we just construct a triangle like so that should be 90 degrees more or less uh, then we're going to draw another one where to represent where the man is, that is sitting here that would be one meter so John is here we're going to label these two triangles A, B, C and uh, we're going to label this D and E the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to figure out the lengths okay this is one meter this is nine meters and this is four meters now what we know about the triangles is is the following okay if I was to draw these two triangles separately one is an enlargement of the other how do I know both triangles are similar? Can anybody tell me? Same. Sorry? They're the same angles. Same angles, okay. Now, please remember that the key thing is that the uh, man is parallel to the screen. The man and the screen are parallel. If they're parallel, this angle here equals this one here. This angle here equals this one here. And this one here is a common angle isn't it so that's angle X angle X uh, this one here is this angle there and there so we can see that all the angles are the same they are equi equiangular or they are basically similar triangles now this one's one meter this one is how long from here to here A to E nine. not nine ten, ten and finally this here is four meters now how much bigger is the triangle on the right than the triangle on the left per length the length is ten times bigger which means that four should be ten times smaller when it's BC so four divided by ten point four meters this is 0.4 meters the man will have to lower his head 0.4 meters down to here so that John can see all the screen is that alright? who got that one out? ok not enough ok let's go again next one John leave that out for a minute yeah ok let's leave it up for a minute Okay, we get started here. Question 20. Uh, a swimming pool is being filled. Find the length L of the surface of the water when the pool has been filled to a depth of 2 meters. Okay, 2 meters. Now, this is, a, this is an interesting one. Okay, I have an idea. My idea is this. We've done nothing but triangle and triangle, haven't we? Yeah? and this is not a triangle triangle situation is it so we can make it into a triangle triangle situation is what Brian's about to tell me right so what we do is we we just draw a line directly across from the uh, draw a line directly across from the uh, this end here now do you see what I did there more or less it looks like I'm making a triangle triangle system okay so what we can do is this here one up Cross and put this one over this side here, okay, and put the stop there. Now, what is the height from here to here? Can anybody tell me? Three. Where'd you get three from, Brian? Uh, four and a half minus one and a half. Four and a half minus one and a half will get me the three, okay, and after the three. 
what we're doing here is it's three in total but there's also another line that's to go in isn't there just around here and what height is this one two three for that one two for this one okay what width is this one here 20. 20 the reason why it's 20 because that from there to there is 20 okay check Greg all right uh, next one is uh, that's 20 right and that's gonna be L now we're gonna do what we always do uh, there's two triangles isn't there yeah just a small one and there's the big one there's a small one this one here is the big one and what we notice is the angles have to be the same don't they this one here is the same as that one there that's the green angle the next one is the red angle which is uh, the right angle have to be both the same red angle red angle and then finally the uh, black angle is common in both triangles we know that they're equi angular which is perfect then after that we know that this one is 20 and 3 and we know that this one here is 2 and we don't know what okay now how much how much bigger is the bigger triangle than the smaller triangle it was 2 and it turns into 3 yeah so 3 divided by 2 1 point 5 it's 1.5 times bigger okay or so uh, Owen, when you look at this way it's 1.5 times bigger isn't it this means that this length here is 1.5 times smaller than 20 what's 20 divided by 1.5 13 and a third 13 and a third. third how many people got 13 and a third there's two people there are three people okay now um, what you said might be true as well you can do it another way and the other way would be this okay the other way would be to say that uh, excuse me you may not be necessarily wrong with what you said okay another way of doing it would be to say this that the, uh, the smaller triangle is two thirds the size of the bigger triangle is that what you're trying to say yeah. Small triangles two thirds the size of the bigger triangle. This means if we multiply uh, 20 by two thirds, if you multiply 20 by two thirds, you should figure out what x is. So what's 20 multiplied by two thirds? Is it 13 and two thirds or 13 and one third, bro? 13 and You sure? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, this is 13 and one third. So you can use two thirds or 1.5. It depends which direction you're talking about. Both answers are the same. Okay, you got that, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what X?